Chilla, what is your awesome thing? What is my other awesome than thing? if you can get this wallpaper? If I can get this <laughs> wallpaper, if if I could get the wallpaper, that would be my awesome thing. Mm-hmm. Um, be your backdrop. So the first thing I have, um, and I kind of used, I don't think I used one off of this site unless they also have it as well. Starwars.com and then their news section has graciously provided um, stock photos from different scenes across the Star Wars universe. Um, anything from asteroid fields, Cloud City, um, the Death Star in ruins, a lot of famous scenes from a lot of different movies, obviously without anyone in the picture. Nice. Um, they have kind of a, a, a remake of the Millennium Falcon, the hallways. Um, but it's they're, they're actually pretty decent res backgrounds, and they're meant for being used with things like Zoom mm-hmm. um, or... Google Meets or anywhere where you can upload a background. Um, they have uh, different star fields. I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I found the one I'm using somewhere else, somewhere a little different a way long time ago. Um, but they did some nice work, and it's obviously right from Star Wars. There is, excuse me, a small copyright in the lower right-hand corner. So they are technically copywritten but they're there for you to use um free of charge excellent excellent i like that so i mean it's kind of the reverse of like i was just thinking about like what what could be the reverse of what you're doing with your your uh your millennium falcon cockpit factor it's like you could pittsburghize it by having some of uh, some Pittsburgh friends sitting in the seats, then you can put a little most, Mr. Rogers over your shoulder in the back seat on the right. Uh, let's see, you can throw you can throw like Pittsburgh Dag over on the other side. Um, I don't know. Um, um, maybe maybe you put uh, Jerome Bettis in the driver's seat. Uh, so. it, it's actually it's because Zoom supports video based backgrounds, and I think Google right. Meet is about to. Right. We could green screen people in the background make a video of it. And then I could use that video as my background. And then I could be sitting in the front. Nice. Nice. Um, I like it. I like it. Oh, Pittsburgh. You know, it, there, there's not, hasn't been like giant announcements, but like all the little things that star Wars day has been doing has been pretty great. Like, it's like, it's like the things you're going to appreciate if you're a super fan, like what, what David's done and what, um, you know, these backgrounds that they put out, you know, and of course, completely in the times too. But, um, so, so my awesome thing, like uh, the Bad Batch, I haven't had a chance to watch a Bad Batch. I, I realized it was like seventy minutes, so I didn't get a, a chance to do that. It's the new um, kind of sequel series to the Clone Wars, I believe. Um, some characters that were introduced in the last season or so of the Clone Wars, and and they're they're getting into like their stories. Um, and of course, if you go over to um, the other Star Wars place that is the Star Wars dot com, is of course DisneyPlus.com. Um, not my awesome thing, but there is a new baby Maggie. Uh, <laughs> there's a new baby Maggie um, um, Star Wars crossover. So um, um, there's a, a, a Maggie's hanging out with BB-8. So go check that out. Uh, and what was the uh, so? And also everything has new artwork for the covers, which is pretty great. Uh, but the thing that kind of caught my attention that I thought was a lot of fun. Oh, they moved it. Hold on, do they still have it? Here it, it is. is. So. There's the biomes and then there's the vehicle fly-throughs. I'm I'm lumping these together on one concept. So I'm not going to play because I don't want to hit some uh, copyrights on this thing. But if you play this thing, there's one of them for uh, for the biomes, and it's about 18 minute long, minutes long. And it's kind of the um, it's a Star Wars edition of your um, Apple TV screensaver. More or less, like I can I just make it my screensaver? Uh, but yeah, you play, and there is a voice that does like say some things. I haven't watched the entire 18 minutes, but I just I, got, I had a chance to dip into it a little bit today. Um, but uh, but it, it just like I like it feels like the thing when you just want to chill out for the night because sometimes listen, I mean, listen, if you have an Apple TV, tell me that you haven't just sat there and watched the screensaver for a while. Like, the, the, I, I like, definitely have. I mean, this is just happening. You walk in the room, and it's on, and you just sit there maybe with your sandwich or something or a coffee in the morning. And you're just like, I'm just going to watch this fly through of like Shanghai or something. Or, um, or was it, was the other Singapore? Is it, is that the one I'm thinking of? Or, um, 
Uh, the city feet scenes are definitely my favorite. I'm not yes. as big on the beach scenes. No, 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 no. And there's a lot of um, kind of planet scenes they're doing now, too. I, I, I feel like they just started popping up. I, mean, I don't see them too often, but I feel like I've seen them a lot this week. Um, but also, it's Earth Day. Earth Month, Earth Day was recently and stuff, right? So um, I had one more Star Wars thing in my well, list. Hold on, well, oh, so, oh, uh, sorry. I, I got to okay. get to the secondary on this because the, the biomes is pretty cool. But then also... Um, if you want uh, something a little more like what Chilla has going on there, um, you have, uh-oh, I lost all my buttons. You have the, I mentioned briefly, the, oh, no, they moved everything again. Nope, that's the Bad Batch. Uh, they have these in-vehicle in fly-throughs, vehicle fly-throughs, right? Now, these are only, there's two of them, and they're only about, uh, let's see, four minutes, five minutes each. You can do a fly-through of the Millennium Falcon and the, uh, uh, Star Destroyer. So just kind of a quick visual tour of these. I actually didn't load this one up yet. So Are they, are they narrated? Because I'd be interested if they, they got into every yes. nook and cranny of yep. some of those ships. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I don't know if the entirety of them is, but I, I, I from the little bit I've seen, it's been something along the lines of, um, you know, hey, this is, you know, it, it gives you kind of the technical details, and then they were just going to sit there and fly through things for a while. So um, it's... It's some pretty good, like, technical. Like, it's, it's, it feels like I don't, I never expect something this technical out of Star Wars, but then I do expect technical like this out of Star Trek, where you have, like, uh, you remember the encyclopedia that had, like, the technical specs of, I have one on my shelf. I found it when I was thrifting with Thrifty, the Thrifty podcast. Um, and I've always wanted it, and I found it for, like, you know, a quarter at Goodwill. Uh, so that was a, that was a good day. Um, but, but, you know, I, I don't I don't know that you know because I mean I, I consider Star Wars more you know fantasy fantastical you know not entirely based in science <laughs> that you know versus Star Trek um, I don't know did I just piss anybody off out there um, but um, but yeah no I, it's really cool it's really cool and really kind of just a nice laid back thing and and I mean obviously everything's gonna be like CG probably for the most part, right, on these things. But um but no, it's just a, a cool deep dive you can do with this. But what is your secondary Star Wars Day awesome thing of the week? So Disney has alluded to the fact Uh-oh. that you will be able to get a much more realistic lightsaber at um when they open up oh uh, what is it? It isn't got the galactic star cruiser luxury hotel so if you go to the um article that i have in there and you scroll a little bit down oh wait yeah um, i'm behind you and they will they will they are claim that they're going to have a toy with some type of retractable blade i'm sure i i mean i can only hope that it is amazing as the like three second 14 second clip they have mm. um but it, the lightsaber will be a part of an immersive two-day hotel experience um and it's unlike anything they've ever created before Whoa. i'm also guessing this and that marks it in the article i'm guessing this is going to cost a lot more than the typical galaxy's edge lightsaber that comes in around 200 bucks um, I, I've seen super I've seen, exciting. I, I've seen the version of these, which I imagine are the same as Galaxy X, uh, at the Disney Springs, um, where you like build your own lightsaber, correct? Um, and they're more like it, these ones. Yeah, the plastic one. Yeah. So, by the way, I forgot I had an, an I I forgot I had an auto retractable one of these. So this was a nice find I just discovered in my studio. Um, I thought it was a regular one. I'm like, what does this button do? Um, but uh, and my my nice one needs new batteries or where I brought it. Um, but <laughs> so, uh, no, that's good. Or I, I can't imagine how much that's going to cost. I wow, how well, much? I, I want to know, and I haven't seen yet because I do want to book the hotel. Um, and you, it's maximum two day, two nights stay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jeez. I'm very interested in doing that, but I I, I want to do it. <sighs> Like more post, I, I guess there's never going to be it's a back post to, COVID, yeah. post COVID, but yeah. when it everything's back to way more normal, functionally normal is that a good term that we can use? I don't know. Funct- I guess so. Sure. Functionally, functionally normal. normal. I mean, yeah, the airport seems to be back to normal, more or less. <laughs> but um, 
but yeah, no, uh, no, that that's really cool. And um, God, that's gonna be a lot of money. Jeez, probably gonna be like two grand for those three days, right? Or am I being modest in my estimate estimation there? Yeah, because you know the current one's two hundred dollars. Anyways, so that is our Star Wars awesome things roundup for the week. 